in a land where the Himalayas kiss the sky, Hartaj, a young prince of a powerful lineage, ascended to the throne. His coronation was a modest affair, a strategic move to solidify his claim to the crown. With his closest confidant appointed as steward, Hartaj's reign began with a thirst for discovery, seeking the hidden treasures within the folds of Nepal's terrain. As the second year dawned, Hartaj, armed with knowledge of the land's riches, set his sights on expanding his realm. His youthful vigor was matched only by his desire to learn, to grow into a ruler worthy of legend. The third year of his rule was a turning point. Hartaj's ambition propelled him to seize the majestic city of Kathmandu. With the city's fall, he declared himself the undisputed king of all Nepal, and in a wise move, he sought the counsel of an aged priest to guide him in matters of faith. The fourth year brought innovation and progress. Hartaj's empire flourished with advancements in social and political spheres, supported by a burgeoning infrastructure. Yet the call of uncharted lands was irresistible, and he led his forces southward into the heart of Pratiharas, claiming new territories for his kingdom. In the fifth year, the war drums echoed, but Hartaj turned to the earth, cultivating it to yield a bounty of rice. This not only fueled his army, but also brought joy and sustenance to his people. The sixth year saw Hartaj's dreams soar as high as the mountains of his homeland. He waged war against the Chauhanas, and, with the spoils of his victories, laid claim to New Delhi. This city, now the jewel of his empire, witnessed significant strides in economic policies and infrastructure under his rule. The seventh year was marked by diplomacy and investment. Hartaj reached out to the Lambakanas, seeking alliances, and he poured his heart into constructing grand religious and social edifices, bringing stability and happiness to his subjects. The eighth year presented a crossroads. A message from Nepal suggested an alliance against the rising Chalukyas empire. After much deliberation and counsel, Hartaj declined, his confidence in his naval forces unwavering. The ninth year was a testament to Hartaj's relentless spirit. His empire continued to expand, subduing the Shandelas and establishing a network of roads that pulsed with life and commerce. In a masterstroke of diplomacy, he secured an eight-year alliance with the Chalukyas. The tenth year was a golden era of peace and prosperity. The treaty allowed Hartaj to focus on the well-being of his people, ensuring a robust and structured economy. His empire became a beacon of welfare and wealth, inspiring an age of exploration. But in the eleventh year, the tides of fate turned. The Indo-Chinese War erupted, and Hartaj stood valiantly against the Bagan and Sun dynasties. In the throes of battle, defending the city he cherished above all, King Hartaj fell. His demise was a pivotal moment, granting Bagan the upper hand in the war. Thus unfolds the epic story of Hartaj, a tale of a ruler whose vision and valor shaped an empire, whose legacy is woven into the very fabric of history.